Good morning, fifth graders. Today we are on page 79 of your student journal, 79. And our lesson is unit 10, lesson two. We are going to be continuing with what we just started yesterday and talking about coordinate planes. But today we're gonna to add one slight change to it. Okay, so our objective or our goal for the day is today I will use and create scaled planes. And our keyword there is scaled. That's going to be our new word, scaled. Okay, so yesterday we introduced so much new vocabulary, tons of new vocabulary. I'm not really going to go over all of it again because we're just going to be using it, but I am going to point out our new one. Our new one's right down here. And it says scale the value given to each grid line. When it says grid line, we might want to add the get given to each axis. Okay? Okay, so our steps are pretty similar. Remember yesterday we added something that I said was really important that we are going to always write x y okay we're always going to write x y so what do i mean by that if i'm given 5 100 as a coordinate point or a coordinate point i'm going to say x y if i'm looking for a coordinate point i'm going to set mine up ready for it and then i'm going to put an x y on top and then fill in the blanks but we're always going to have an x y okay so today, the, our big thing is going to be scaled is going to be our different difference. I'm going to set down my green pen and pick up my red if you want to set down your pencil. And here is my first problem. It says graph 32,800. Okay, so this is where the scaled part comes in. Now, if I really had a graph 82, I'm sorry, set 32,800 on a regular coordinate plane, that wouldn't fit because I'm going to flip back and kind of show you what we did yesterday. So yesterday, all of our scales were counting by ones. So here the axis, the x-axis counted by ones. Here the y-axis counts by ones. Every problem that you did or we did together yesterday, the scale was one. Okay, but what we're doing today is when you have very large X coordinates and Y coordinates, you don't want these massive, gigantic coordinate planes. So what they do is they just change the scale. So what you need to know about that is you, when you change the scale, you have to have a consistent scale. So notice that X was 32. So if I look down here, look what they created. They decided to count by fours. Now the reason they counted by fours is because 32 is a multiple of four. Now they would not have, and I'm going to kind of go down here to show you, if they wanted 32 it probably would not have been the smartest choice to count by threes. They wouldn't have said 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. Now are you seeing why maybe that wouldn't have been a wise choice? Because they never actually get 32. So the reason they chose fours is because 32 is a multiple of four. They also could have chose twos, but that would have not fit on this coordinate plane. They would have had to have a much larger one. What else do you think they could have counted by? What else would be is 30 a multiple to multiple up. Can you think of one? I'm thinking they also could have chose to count by eights and said 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, because that would have gotten them 32. So this would have been another option. Okay, um, what is not an option is saying, oh, I need 32, so I'm gonna start and I'm gonna count by ones. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to realize, oh, shoot, 
I ran out of space. I'm gonna go 32. That's not a choice. You can't just say, oh, I ran out, so I'm gonna put the number I need. You have to be going by multiples. So here my multiples are four. Here my multiples were eight. This would have worked for a different number. My multiples were three. This is not counting by multiples, so that doesn't work as well. Okay, now the same thing with 800. You would have had to have this giant coordinate plane to accommodate a Y coordinate of 800. So they decided to count by hundreds. That would completely work. Um, they also could have counted by something smaller, but then they would have needed a larger plane. Okay, they could have maybe even counted by two hundreds. They could have said zero, two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, and one thousand. That would have got them where they needed. So kind of the goal with this though, the reason they chose what they chose and not what I had is the goal is to not choose something that's so small. You want to be as specific as you can. So I would never counted by like 16s. You want to kind of spread out your numbers as much as you can, but also fit them in here. Now, a big thing that you need to notice is that you don't have to have the same scale. Your X axis and your Y axis could have different scales. So the scale of your X axis is counting by fours, your Y axis is counting by hundreds, and that's completely allowed. You're always allowed to have your a different scale for each axis. Okay, so now let's just plot it using what we did yesterday, because this is really the only new part. The part from yesterday should be the same. Here's my origin. My zero, zero is my origin. And on X, they want me to find my 32, which is right there. On Y, they want me to choose my 800, which is right there. And remember yesterday we said I could draw it, or if I am very careful, I could even use my fingers. But this is exactly where I'm plotting it. And remember, it's gonna go right in the middle. It's never gonna go like that. That would be wrong. Okay, so let's see another one. Okay, on this one, okay, again, what I see is I see a scale. They're not counting by ones. What they didn't do for me this time, they're trying to maybe make it a little more challenging, is they didn't label my axes. So I don't know which one's Y and X. Remember I told you my fifth grade teacher told me the Y because it just can continue, it's the tall one, and then that makes this the X. Okay, so if I look, my X axis, the scale of this, the scale is 10. They're counting by 10. But the scale here is they're counting by 50s. And that's okay. You're allowed to have different scales. Okay, but the question says, what point is shown on the graph? So I'm always going to set up my ordered pair with my x, y. So this is my ordered pair, and this is my coordinate point. So what is my x? My x is 30. And what's my y? 250. Okay, let's try some together. Let's turn. Okay, what do I notice first on this? It says graph 1835. Okay, let's always, always, always put our X and our Y. It's just a really good habit to get in. Okay, now they didn't label our axes again, our axes. They want us to have to remember that. So this is my Y axis and this is my X. Okay. And they don't ask us for this, but we're just gonna write it just to be the best we can be. So what is my scale for my X? If I look closely, my scale looks like multiples of two. They're counting by twos. And what is my scale of my Y axis? They're counting by fives. Okay, but now they want us to graph this. So my X is 18. And my Y is 35, and we're gonna find where they meet. So again, you can trace, or you could use your fingers, but that is our spot right there. Okay, let's try another one. All right, again, they don't ask us, but we're gonna just write it. So what is our scale, and what is our scale? 
and this is our Y, and this is our X. So our scale looks here, like they're counting by tens, and our scale here looks like they're counting by fifties. Okay, and this time they say what point is shown on the graph. So we need to find what point is on the graph. Okay, so my X is 70, and my Y is 400. Wow, you can see why they created a scaled coordinate plane, because you would have to have a massive, giant, huge coordinate plane to accommodate those numbers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your homework, I'm sorry, not your homework, but your assignment, is going to be to turn the page, which should be page 81. I know they don't ask you to, but please write the scale of your axes on both of these, and then finish this page. Have a nice afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.